Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to open up, let's see, we have six Blu-ray titles here, and they're titles that I've picked up kind of in the past year or two or whatever, and I just haven't gotten around to opening them, so I decided to open them all in this video. And they're titles that I feel are not really, you know, I don't have enough to say about them to warrant their own unboxings. So this will just be kind of a variety Blu-ray unboxing video. So the first one we have here, uh, Blu-ray 3D plus Blu-ray is Pixels in the 3D, as you can see right there. And I, ha I haven't heard really good things about this movie, but um, Qbert and Pac-Man, that's, you know, I've, I've li I really like those games, and it uh, just kind of seems something like something interesting to see in a movie, even if it's pretty horrible. Um, so, I don't know, I just decided to give this a try. Another couple reasons why I got this is because it was cheap. Big Lot's $5, but I think I actually got it a lot cheaper than that. I don't remember what I paid, but... It also has this uh, clear white Blu-ray case, which is something you don't see often, so I decided, you know, that's kind of cool, and since I got it for so cheap, I uh, decided to blind buy this, even though I really haven't heard uh, great things about the movie itself, but, you know, hopefully it's at least okay. Um, if not, I did get it for cheap, so that is fine. Uh, here's the artwork, that's kind of cool. It's got a little color to it, so that's nice. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, Don't Miss Out, $5.99 movies plus free shipping. I don't know what this is. Um, we've got uh, Digital Cop. I don't know if, I don't think this is a digital copy. I think this is the Sony Pictures Pixel Offer, whatever that is. I don't know. Maybe this is the digital copy. One of these must be. I don't know. Anyway, we've got a few other ads here. Um, it looks like they got an app for the game and some other stuff back here, so some ads there. So this one's the 3D Blu-ray right here, and then this is the regular Blu-ray right there. So nice to see some artwork variety anyways. Um, overall, uh, nice quality package here. Hopefully it's a nice quality movie as well, but I am not really getting my hopes up, so anyhow, there is that. Next we have Dr. Doolittle. This is one that I watched when I was young, at least a couple times anyways, and I thought it was pretty funny, uh, starring Eddie Murphy there. And you can see the price tag, $4.99. I actually bought this at a local grocery store. Um, so that was kind of a fun thing to find there. I hadn't uh, owned it on Blu-ray yet, so good thing to pick up, especially for you know pretty cheap price there. Here's a look at the back, a few thumbnails. So there's that. We'll go ahead and open this up. Alright, so inside here, looks like we just have the movie and nothing else. There is the artwork, and it's in an eco box case, unfortunately, but, but hey, that's kind of cool to have. So there is that. Another one here is That Thing You Do, comedy written and directed by Tom Hanks. And I pretty much just bought this because, number one, it was really pretty cheap at uh, Best Buy on sale. I think it was... $8 or less or something, and I really like movies with Tom Hanks, so I uh, decided, you know what, I'm going to blind buy this one. Don't know if it's any good or whatever, but um, yeah, so here it is. Here's the back, and uh, yeah, it's got a few special features, it looks like, and um, yeah, that's about all there is to say about it. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so here is what we have inside. Uh, colorful artwork, so that's a cool thing. There it is. But otherwise, nothing nothing else to speak of. Ecobox case. So like I said, these are quick unboxings, and now we're already on to the fourth one, which is uh, The Rocker. And this is, I don't know, you know, it just looks kind of interesting. And I did get it for cheap at, I think, Dollar General, and I paid a lot less than $4.95. I think it was maybe even a dollar something. I can't remember that I actually ended up paying for this. Um, but really cheap, and that's why I decided to blind buy it. Um, seems like it could be interesting. So um, I don't know if it's on the level of like School of Rock or something, or if it's something completely different entirely, but it looked interesting, so I decided to blind buy this. So hopefully it's uh, you know kind of funny or interesting or whatever. So we'll go ahead and open this one up. All right, so I opened it up, and one thing, always be careful about, I went really quick here, is when you're opening up these uh, security labels, you gotta go really slow across these or you'll damage it like I just did to mine here. You can see the 
kind of residue from that logo there, unfortunately. But it's just the Blu-ray case, and I have plenty of spares if uh, it really starts to bother me. So anyway, we'll take a look at what we have inside, and uh, see. How it looked like it might have been like a double stacked disc or something, but I don't think so. It's just one there. Here is the rocker on Blu-ray, and it looks like it also has a DVD copy in here. So this thing is kind of fully loaded. Uh, we've got uh, an insert here, although this Blu-ray, blah, blah, blah. Something about an update, I'm not sure. Um, digital copy stuff, and then an advertisement for some other titles. And then it's got uh, this blank security card. I'm not sure why they included that, but anyways. Um, and let's see, so it just, it doesn't come with a DVD, I guess, but this is the digital copy disc. Who knows if this will even still work anymore, I have no idea. Looks like this is a pretty old uh, release of this movie, so. Um, which is probably why it ended up at Dollar General in the first place. So anyway, there is the rocker, and the next one I'm going to open up is Bruno here, and this one I've had on Blu-ray for a long time. Ended up getting rid of it at one point because it's, you know, it's it's not one that I felt like I needed to have in my collection, but then I was like, I don't know, it's kind of funny. If I want to check it out again, you know, I'd like to just have it, and ended up buying a copy of this, I think used somewhere for really cheap, but it wasn't a very... Uh, you know, the quality wasn't very good of it, you know, because it was used. So I ended up finding this at a Dollar Tree when they had Dollar Blu-rays, so I decided to pick this one up. Um, so, you know, this is a brand new one. And I'll just throw it on the shelf. Maybe I'll never watch it again, who knows, but um, it, it, I, I, I did, I actually did see this in the theater, I think, once. Um, and uh, it's kind of funny, it's really raunchy and everything, but, uh, you know, it's got some funny comedy to it and everything so anyways we'll go ahead and open this up and see what we've got inside all right so if i didn't show you a good look at the artwork here i don't think i did but there it is real quick nothing really exciting to look at but uh let's see unfortunately we do have the disc floating in here not a big deal it's a blu-ray i'm sure it'll be just fine uh there is the artwork though nothing fancy at all and I don't see any scratches, so we're just fine there. And it's a nice, high-quality case, which is a good thing as well. Uh, not a, not an eco box or anything. And this one also has the DVD copy plus digital, or maybe this is just digital. It says DVD ROM here, so maybe this is. It's not an actual, you know, DVD. You can play in a DVD player. It just has the uh, digital copy for transferring to your computer. I don't know. Uh, and. Like like the rocker, don't know if this will even still work, the digital copy, since uh, this has probably been sitting on the shelf forever. But anyway, there is Bruno, and then we've got one more, which is Dude, Where's My Car? Starring Ashton Kutcher and Sean William Scott. Bought it for Ashton Kutcher, and because it's cheap, you know, I really liked uh, him in that 70s show and stuff, so this one looks like it might be kind of funny. Three bucks, nice blind buy, I guess. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's entertaining. Anyways, it's got a couple thumbnails, looks like kind of a raunchy comedy. Um, anyways, we'll go ahead and open this one up. Alright, so let's see what we have inside. Eco box, unfortunately, but one disc here. And there's the artwork on it, so nice and colorful. And uh, that's about all there is to say about it. It looks like nothing really else exciting, so that was kind of what I was expecting from all of these. Nothing, you know, super spectacular. So that's why I decided to unbox all six of these in one uh, video. Um, so there we are. Six Blu-rays. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next video.